Welcome back to my Let's Play for Pokemon Emerald, my Mono Dark Run. I almost feel like I should bust out the cigarettes again, but I um, don't have any over here on hand for doing that with. But yeah, we're probably gonna have to retreat after this, so there's no reason not to just you know take him on straight up, straight up, and then leave. Because I'm guessing you know he's gonna do quite the number on some of my Pokemon, but we'll see. Then even if he doesn't do a lot of damage, I might still want to fall back because the battle with the gym leader here is gonna be rough. There's no getting around that for me. It's it's gonna be a tough matchup. And we'll go with nature power. After all, we can swift this thing to death in probably two hits at this point. Oh, sand attack? That's gonna do absolutely nothing, my friend, because let's face it, swift never misses. It doesn't matter how much you blind me, it never misses. Jeez. But it'll be fair, you know, you can't always count, you know, knowing what someone's gonna do, right? Yeah, let's send out Casper to deal with, um, Gulp in here. Though it can probably still throw poison at me. Eh, that's annoying. But I can work with it. I mean, we can do Fake Out. Then go into, you know, uh, Nightshade, right? Come on. Amnesia, huh? <laughs> Raising defenses to try and block me out. Cool. Not effective, but cool, I guess. Well, that takes care of that. And Youngster Ben is dealt with. Well, let's hit this and come down, leave, and come back in, you know? Apparently, I don't really need to heal. That's surprising. I honestly expected we'd have to, but I'll take it. And let's change that, and boom, we are ready to take on Watson. And I think we'll switch out who's facing off against Voltorb. Um, this way we can at least, you know, intimidate it. So if he does self-destruct, I'll probably survive it. I may have to heal up um, Lacey at some point. After all, I really would prefer to use um, How the Power Up to take on Manectric if I can on Magneton. But we'll see how that goes. Um, for now, let's just deal with Voltorb. One thing at a time, right? Well, let's just um, go for a bite, I guess. Try and get a f oh, we got a critical hit kill. Damn. I was not expecting that, but I will take it. Just a bit surprising. Uh, electric, huh? Well, we'll send out dots. Um, fake out will help me out here, right? Okay. Time for a little fake out. Hopefully, we don't get paralyzed for this, but we'll see. Oh yeah, we didn't get paralyzed, so now we can move into nature power. I don't care if you power up. I mean, you could, you do that, Electric. You power yourself up for what's coming. And I'm gonna try and swift my way to victory before you get a chance to do any major damage. Yeah, well, I don't get the point of that how if you're just gonna go a shockwave. I mean, that how did absolutely nothing for Electric effectively. But you know, Electric can do itself, I guess. It's just a really weird call. Torment, huh? Let's see, what's this even do? Stop successive use of a move, huh? I don't see how that'd be really all that helpful. But I'll still toss growth for it. Even if it's not gonna be super helpful, I'll still take it. After all, growth just doesn't have enough payoff with how weak Bullet Seed is. Magneton, eh? Well, we're gonna switch over to Mania. It's a bit weird we're going there, probably, but Mania does know Leech Seed. That's the entire reason we bred Mania, after all. So... The Goddess of Madness is going to spread Leech Seed. Hopefully. Oh, good. Magneton's attack missed, and we can seed it. Okay. Now we got that in play, we definitely have the advantage. Um, Pokemon, I want to bring out Lacey. 
Some might call that a bit of a weird call, but I figure if we bring Lacey out, you know, we can intimidate, then swagger it for some confusion so it hurts itself potentially while we also, you know, are still sucking away at its health, you know, with Leech Seed. And I can hopefully power up, you know, in preparation for dealing with, um, the rest of the issues that come from this thing. Well, great. I hurt myself in confusion, but I haven't powered up yet, so I'll take it. Um, Pokemon. We'll bring Dots back out. Go for a fake out. It's not going to do much damage, but then again, I don't need it to. Just something reliable is all I want that can cause a flinch. After all, it buys me at least a little time, gets a little more recovery my way. Okay, Pokemon, um, get back out there, Lacey. I know you're gonna probably take a sonic boom to the face, but take it you shall. Okay, even weaker. Shockwave, huh? Well, swagger it. Come on. I seriously wanted to power up here. Crap. Well, at least they'll get rid of the paralysis. And Watson's gonna use a super potion on Magneton. Okay, to bring it back into the game. <sighs> I was hoping to take out before you get a chance to use that. Come on, confusion, do your thing. After all, this thing doesn't really know any physical attacks, so it's not really going to help it out much. I just need it to hurt itself and, you know, get drained by Leech Seed so it dies. And it gives me a chance, you know, to power myself up in preparation for Magneton. Not Magneton. Oh, Magnetric. Gosh darn it. <sighs> Damn it. Come on. Stop screwing with me. And we'll cure paralysis again. Because I just don't want to deal with it. Ooh, yeah, we're almost back up to full health. And we can go back to howling some more. We like to howl at the moon! Oh, it snapped out of confusion, huh? And another damn thunder wave! My god! Okay, another howl. And he's got another super potion? Oh, man. That's just annoying. Okay. We'll just have to let him get drained out again. Bag. Um, cherry berry. We'll remove it again. Damn, it's getting, uh, getting old. Well, do a swagger, I guess. Try and confuse it again. So hopefully it knocks itself out, mostly. Come on. Thank you. Well, let's see. We could try and tackle it at this point. After all, we do have some more power behind it, even if it's not very effective. And Pearl's get Damn, we have to use up all four cherry berries on this thing. What a pest, man. Uh, I'm gonna have to go get more cherry berries much later on. Make up for that. Of course it snaps out of confusion and uses the sonic boom again. But it's definitely within killing range now, and he's gotta be out of potions. I mean this was a definite drain on resources because I had to give up so many Freaking paralysis cures. Freaking pain in my butt. But this should give us in a good position to hopefully deal with Manetric, assuming I don't get paralyzed on the initial strike. You know, this thing is still faster than us. Gosh darn it. Come on, tackle. Oh my god. Again? Come on, tackle. Just get me close. That's all I care about. 
I mean, if I can get close, I can bring in, you know, other Pokemon that'll hopefully finish this thing off. Yeah. Lacey's going down, but that's fine. I can bring in Dots and go for the fake out. And probably get the kill. Okay. Quick attack? That's not gonna be enough. Even with a Holland play, it's still not gonna be enough. Ugh. <sighs> No, it did get around, you know, the flinch at least, I guess. Of course, now Mia knows how to do it too, so that's good. Gotta love, you know, when we do switches for back to back fake outs. Yeah, toss growth. I'd rather keep Harden over growth. And plus, Mia doesn't even know any, um, you know, special attacks anyway. Well, at least we got past this gym. Though, I had to sink way more berries into this than I wanted to. Ugh, probably should have put one on Lacey from this get-go, though. But at least we got the Dynamo Badge. <sighs> now we can finally use, you know, that um, Rock Smash out there. Ah, Shockwave. Don't think any of my Pokémon can use it, but right now I'll take it, though. I think Absol can maybe learn it, but we don't have that yet. <sighs> Well, I'll do it for this episode. Till next time, then. See ya.